In this video we're just going to talk about system frequency on the Panasonic GH6. So when I say system frequency we're talking about uh, PAL and NTSC formats. Um, I don't really want to overcomplicate this because it, it kind of doesn't need to be too overcomplicated. I mean essentially um, back in the days when um, uh, you know everything was kind of analog uh, PAL and NTSC um, were kind of split into two so over different territories uh, for example uh, the US and Canada um, the NTSC format was used and in uh, the UK where I am um, we'd use the PAL format still do and um, you know a lot of um, European territories would also use the PAL format and it sort of varied around the world um, <sighs> Back in the days when um, I, I used to make content for DVDs, so um, we'd essentially everything would have to be PAL, um, otherwise there would be issues with um, sort of interlacing and um, just just general sort of display issues. It, it wouldn't work correctly when watching it on a TV. Um, and we sort of live in a world now where we're increasingly moving towards um, digital outputs and streaming and you know people watching things on um, on websites as opposed to uh, you know that that kind of um, original delivery method we used to have where we were using old analog connections into TVs to uh, play video players or DVD players for example um, essentially um, I I still set my camera to PAL um, and the reason for that is just because um, I do occasionally still get asked to do work where um, I will be doing it for um, maybe for TV screens and I can't get enough information from the client on <clears throat> what the you know how it is actually going to be played or um, they're doing it on projectors and sometimes with projectors they can be using older analog inputs um, so uh, usually with that type of work you'll be uh, you'll be given some kind of spec or deliverable on um, you know what the system frequency should be frame rates um, resolutions everything you know all of that should be provided in that kind of instance um, but for people that are just making content for uh, for YouTube for example or they're just making content uh, for people's websites it's um it's not really such a a big issue you know you, you can sort of switch between the two but the one thing i probably would say um if you're deciding between the two um and you're shooting on other things make sure that they all actually match up so if you're it's quite common for people to be shooting on um you know like a little handheld camera like say the DJI, the DJI Pocket or maybe you're shooting on a drone which is quite common people you know always usually shoot you know they're partly on cameras partly on drone for a little bit of aerial footage um, just make sure they're both set up the same so your drone is in PAL your camera is in PAL or they're both in NTSC um, it, don't switch the two over and like I say you know it, it could be that the, if you wanted to shoot in um, one system frequency for a project and switch into another, it's fine. Like you can, you can come into the camera here. So um, under the fourth one down, the the spanner or the wrench, and then in the next menu uh, with five down, it's the, again spanner or wrench. In the second menu, it's the others menu. Um, there's one in here called system frequency. So like I say, I'm set up on PAL. Um, I can come in and I can set that to NTSC. Um, I'll be honest, I've I've never used the uh, cinema one. Uh, that is outside of <laughs> outside of my knowledge for this, so um, I won't go into that one. But the um, NTSC, we can do that, and then um, it says it's been changed, and we actually have to switch the camera off. And this is because NTSC actually gives us a whole new set of uh, shooting modes. So. When we come into the shooting modes, if um, I've got this in, oh sorry, I'm in the wrong thing. Uh, let me just jump into uh, the movie setting, um, and then if we jump into the quick menu, um, I've got this all set up on um, uh, on a quick menu. I'll, I'll link a video to kind of how to do that. But these are all our um, all our frame rates here. Um, so when I'm in NTSC, you can see I've got um, uh, sort of denominations of 30 and 60. Um, I've got a few in there that are uh, 48. Um, if we come along, I should have 
yeah so i've got um 4k 120 um and that's 4k 120 with autofocus and audio so um that's one feature that a lot of people have been asking me for and looking for in the pal option um so you can see we've got audio down the bottom and um we're sort of 11988 so effectively 120 frames um, but if we came back into, so if we jump back into the camera, so wrench, wrench, and then into system frequency, and we come back into PAL, uh, and then we've got to switch off, switch back on, um, and then we come back into our queue menu again, you can see the frame rates have changed now. So we're, rather than uh, 30 and 60, we're actually now in, uh, we've got 25 uh, and 50, and then we've got it steps up from that so uh, we've got HD one here which is uh, 100 frames and then the highest 4k one we should be able to get should sit along the same as that so yeah 100 frames so um, and the reason there is because your base frame rate in NTSC is 30 um, so 120 frames is effectively giving you 25% slow motion um, and in this we're at 25 frames in PAL 100 frames a second is given us again 25% slow motion um, you could technically go in and have the 120 and then break that down onto a 25 frame timeline if you wanted to try and get that extra bit out of it um, I mean for me the, the four four times is is plenty enough but um, a lot of people were just kind of saying where where is that feature because in this all you'll be able to do is uh, the only way you'll get to 120 is using um, the VFR modes which we've talked about in um, in other videos but using VFR you won't get audio and you won't get um, autofocus either so you'll be manually focusing video only um, but yeah hopefully that sort of clears it up a bit um, there'll be many people out there I'm sure that will be able to explain the cinema mode I'm not the best person to explain that like I say um, uh, hopefully you know somebody in the comments will will leave something about that um, <laughs> or leave like a nice uh, a nice summary of kind of power to NTSC but you know to, to my mind that's that's where it's always sat you know it's, it's just all about the deliverable of the project so um, you know what country you're shooting in if it has to be delivered to a screen and how that delivery is going to take place and like I say you know for a lot of people you, you can kind of ignore a lot of that so it, it's just um, it's something maybe you'd need to think about in that instance but you know <laughs> maybe you never will um, so hopefully that's um, that's helped uh, if I has give the video a like um, if you want to see more GH6 content then please subscribe to the channel